in this lecture what we are going to do whatever project we have created using use state to fetch the api data same project we are going to convert using use reducer so that we are going to understand the concept of use reducer and also understand the structure to fetch data from api so this is the project we created using use state hook when i click on this here i will be having loading text once my data is fetched successfully i am able to display entire card accordingly you can give your own styling now what i want i just want to convert this entire project using our use reducer hook i'll come here control b i'm just going to copy this folder copy paste here i will write fetch reducer after changing now i'm just going to come inside app.js from here i will remove fetch state instead i will be giving fetch reducer and from that file i just want to access this fetch data so here i will close and also i will be closing this open this fetch reducer and from here i will be selecting this file and we already know while using this use state for each and everything we have to update our state so now if you see this project this managing state is little bit complicated because for every single item change we need to update our state once we update the state only then our data will be synced with our application but now we will not be using any state so here we are going to work on loading the data getting the data and finally if you are having any error for error we need some data i am just going to remove all the state and inside this this updation also i will be removing here also i will remove this entire thing and here i will remove you can see i have removed all the state and also i have removed entire state dating logic and also i do not need this use state simply i am just going to remove i have removed my state and also setter function but here still our state variables are present but now using the same variables we are going to use use reducer and inside initial state we will be passing all these variables but now if i come here i will be having all these errors why because these were the state variables which we have removed now so for comparison purpose what i will do from this fetch state i will just open this file okay this is the folder on which we are working fetch reducer and this is the project which we have written in our previous lecture so now first i am having loading state for which initial value is false then i am having post for which initial value is empty array and finally i am having error for which initial value is false but whenever we are using use reducer we don't have to create separate state instead we are going to create only one state so here i will write const initial state is equal to i will be passing as object i will copy this loading paste it here initially i'm just going to give false this is nothing but object i'm just going to separate by comma then i will be writing post for that initial value is empty array finally we are having error for this initial value is false so now successfully we have created our initial state but if i come here still i will be having this error why because inside this one object i have passed all these three values so instead of updating in this way instead of creating separate state what i have done all the variables i have passed inside this initial state now here i am just going to create my use red user here i will write use red user hit enter it will be imported from react library i will remove this and here i will be pasting and this red user will be taking two arguments first is a reducer function and second is a initial state 
I have already created the initial state which is having all these three values and in return it will be returning array which immediately we are going to destructure. So here I will be writing state and then I will be writing my dispatch function. You can give any name but this is the common practice. We are going to give dispatch for dispatch. Now this state will be assigned to this initial state. And my initial state is nothing but object. So what I have to do whenever I am accessing these variables. Now my state is object and from that object I just want to access the property. So here I will be writing state dot error. Then for this also I will be writing state dot loading. And finally we are having post. Here I will write state dot post. Now I will save. Refresh this still that errors have gone loading error and post is not defined. All those errors are gone instead now I am having red user is not defined. So here I will be creating red user function. Below this I will write red user and this is going to take state and action as its argument. Save it now you can see all the errors have gone. Now if I click on this nothing will happen. But now I will change it to true. Save it. Refresh once. Now you can see my text content is changed to loading. So in my initial state I have passed this. So successfully I am able to get the result. For this error also if I make true. Refresh once. You can see error is displayed. And also my loading text is displayed. Let me change both to false. I hope. Till now you understood we have removed all the state as well as all the state updating logic and we have created our use red user and inside the initial state we have passed all the variables which we need to update and finally we have created our red user function. So now inside this red user what action type we need to pass if you see here we have for loading we have for post and finally we have for error. So basically loading means we are just starting to fetch the data and post is using this we are successfully getting the data and finally using error if we are having some error accordingly we are going to update our UI. So in total we have to perform three dispatch. I will come here when I want to perform whenever I am fetching this data Whenever I click on this button only then I have to perform all this operation. So here I will be writing dispatch. Inside this I am just going to pass the action. And here I will give action type as fetch start. I will give here type. I will be passing as fetch start. So as soon as I click on this successfully I have to start my loading. Then next. When successfully my data is arrived again I have to dispatch. Inside this I will be passing type. Type I will be writing as fetch. Fetch success. And finally whatever data I have received that data I will be passing for this payload property. Okay. So whenever I click on this first time my loading should be started. Once my data is arrived. Using this fetch success, I am just going to get the data. And finally, if I am having any error, again dispatch. Inside this, I will be passing type. For this, simply I will be giving fetch error. So now, these are the actions which I have created. And these actions are going to trigger using this dispatch function. So as soon as I click on this button, first time my loading should be started. Once I am having the data inside this payload I am passing the data and if I am having any error using this I am just going to get the error. So inside this payload you can pass this error as well. But as of now let us see based on this action how to execute our code. So now inside this reducer I will be writing switch then I will write action dot type. So this action is nothing but this entire object and from this action I am just checking the type of the object. So in total I am having three cases. 
So here I will write case. First case is fetch start. Then here simply I will write return empty string. I will come down. Then here we are having another case that is nothing but fetch success. Here I will be pasting. Come down, return something. And finally, we are having third case that is fetch error. Copy and here I will be pasting. Okay, do not get confused. We have already worked with multiple examples. We are just using the same structure. Only thing you should understand entire concept. And in default case, simply I will be returning state. Now here you can see our initial state is nothing but object. So whenever we are returning something, we have to return object. Remove this. I will copy this entire thing and here I will be pasting. So whenever it is starting, what I have to do? I have to change this loading to true. So till I am not having any post, so it will be empty. And finally, error will be false. So only thing we have to change is loading to true. Now, once we are having the data, again we have to return this. Inside this, I will copy again, paste it here. Now, loading has to be set to true. Then instead of this post, what I will be having? I will be having action.payload. Why? Because inside this payload, we are getting our entire data. Inside this payload, we have passed entire data, whatever we are getting from API. So whenever it is success, so for this post, I have assigned action.payload, which is nothing but array of object. And here our error will be false. And then our loading will also be false because here successfully we are fetching our data. Then finally inside error, I will open. Again, I'm just going to copy this. Here I will be pasting. So when I'm having error, my loading will be false. Then post simply, I'm just going to set to empty array. And finally for error, I will be making true. But we already know, instead of writing this entire state variables, simply whatever it is changing, only that property we are going to change. Rest all, we are just going to copy. So here you can see we are having loading as false. Here we have only changed loading to true. Rest entire thing is same. Post is empty array and also error is false. So I will remove this. Instead what I will do, I am just going to copy my entire state and inside that state I am just updating my loading value. And after that if you see loading is false, loading is false. Action is updated and error is also false. So again, I will remove this and also I will remove. Instead, I'm just going to copy my entire state. Then finally, inside this error, loading is false. Post is empty array and only error is true. Again, I will remove this. Simply, I'm just going to write state. So whatever property we want to update, accordingly, we are just going to update that property. And this entire thing we are going to copy from initial state. Now I will save it. Come here. Refresh this one. Click on this. I am having loading text. Now you can see successfully we have converted our entire project. And we have used the same concept. But instead of using use state hook, we have used use reducer. So again, just go through this code. First, what we have done, we have removed all the state and all the state updating logic and we have created our use reducer. And whenever we are fetching data, first data will be loaded, then data will be fetched and if you are having some error, then error will be displayed. Let me show you. If here I am having some error in API, refresh this, click on this. Now you can see this is also working fine. But in a use state project, we have seen if we are having any error, instead of loading, we should be set to fetch post. So here I will be writing loading to false. Save it. Refresh this. Click on this. Once I am having error, again 
I am having the text as fetch post. So once we created use reducer, inside this reducer function, we are passing three cases. Accordingly, based on this action, we are loading the data, we are getting the data, and if we are having any error, error will be displayed. And inside this initial state, we have passed all these three values. Here, now let me just correct the API, fake store API. And inside this dispatch, first, I'm just trying to dispatch this action with fetch start, which will set loading to through. Then once I'm having this data, inside this payload, I'm passing entire data. So once successfully I'm having the data, I will be able to render that data on screen. And finally, we are having dispatch for error. If we are having any error, loading we are going to set to false and error we are going to set to true. And finally, from this state variable, we are going to access all these properties and accordingly, we are going to render the data on screen. This is the simple project you should understand to master use reducer.